Hey everyone and welcome to this week's uh, Photoshop edit walkthrough. This time I won't be talking over a speed edit. I will be going through the layers of this image here. So this is one of my po most popular images. I won the 2017 Fair Awards with this in America. Got a trophy somewhere sitting on a by my TV and this is the image here. So this is a friend and a model called uh, Ambelina and this was my son and this is what was one of the first images me and my son uh, kind of got involved with together. So let's just go over to Photoshop where I have turned off all the layers. So as you can see <coughs> we was going to paint the Ambelina in full body makeup but we got this far and it had already taken about five hours so I, <laughs> I gave in because I was getting agitated and bored and I just said I will photoshop the rest so as you can see that is what I did so I just painted in on a colour mode there with some blue then darkened that with curves and then used a brush and just painted in the red to match the arms on the body so this is the makeup artist here uh, and what I wanted, I wanted water to be pour, kind of just pouring down the body of the demon or witch, whichever you want to call it. So I had the makeup artist pouring a bottle of uh, water, an empty milk bottle over the top of her head. And then I, because I set this up on a tripod, I would then blend out the makeup artist and blend in my son, who I shot earlier that day. So let's just find uh, my son, which is here. So as you can see, because it was uh, both shot on the same tripod, I could use a layer mask to blend out the various elements. So I blended out the makeup artist, blended in my song, blended out some other things. So let's go back down here and then I started adding some splashes into the image. So the splash is probably free splash stock from Devon Art. <coughs> So once I had the splashes in, I would then start to add the water in. So again, I just used free stock imagery. <coughs> what I found of water and splashes. So here we are, just blending the water in. And blending it out just around the bath. And then I started adding the, where the waves or the water was hitting certain areas. There would be the white, uh, I'm not sure what you call it, the um, just kind of the connection between the water and the side is usually like a white bit, like a bit of a tide. So I started adding them in, and then with curves, I pulled down the tone of the water. And then started adding more splashes again, masking out where they want on a layer mask. <coughs> adding the big splash in there to add the movement. And then a little bit more splash around this area here. So what I did then was dodge and burn. So you've probably seen me go over dodge and burn a million times. So I won't go over it again. But I use curves, as seen here, and then a non-destructively painting dodge and burn. So I click that off and on. So I'm just dodging away some of the marks here, dodging the uh, sink and my the model and my son, and then again. Just adding a little bit more dodge and burn with a copy. So then I had a colour filter over the top of everything to make everything blend in more. I chose a blue one just because of the room, or turquoise blue one, just because the room kind of had that feel already. And then with curves, I brightened up the centre because that's where our focus is. As you can see before, it was a little bit too dark there. So I brightened up the centre and then the left the surroundings. And then uh, this one here is the towel. So what, when I create composites and I, when I educate people on creating composites, I was telling them it's sometimes the littlest details what make a composite, composite more realistic. So what I did here was, as you can see, there's a towel here. And if the water's splashing around and hitting the walls and the bath, the towel would be wet there. So I just used curves and darken the towel so it had a wet feel just where the water has been hitting it. Uh, now I'm just using curves adjustment to bring down the brightness of this here as it, the attention seems to go over there. So I pulled down the highlights on that and then I just did some more cleanup on the edges here. 
happened now? I used a black and white uh, adjustment layer on luminosity to play with the tone of the image. So I was going for a, a little bit of a more commercial feel with this. So I pulled out the uh, pulled the shadows a little bit, and then added some more contrast to the image. I wanted it to be brighter, <coughs> and then a little bit toned down of the edges. Again, kind of a bit like a vignette, but non-destructive because it's on a layer mask with a curves adjustment. And then I just brightened up this area of the demon or witch, and just so you could see a little bit more detail. See your facial features. Then with a color balance adjustment layer, then added the coloring again, adding more blues and turquoises in. And then a sharpen. So I just sharpened the uh, witch at the back. <coughs> And that is basically it. So as you can see, not actually uh, loads went into this image. <coughs> it took, I would say, around two to three hours. But sometimes it's the ones that don't take that long, what seem to have most impact sometimes, because you don't play around too much. So let me just go back to Lightroom. So that's, that's how the image was in Lightroom. And then in Lightroom, I just pulled up the clarity a little bit and added some uh, more sharpness and detail to the image. Uh, and that's it, pretty simple really. So if you've got any questions or if you have comments, please leave them in the uh, comment section below. And feel free to hit me up on social media. Thanks guys. Peace!